So you're ready to make your first F1 in schools car. So we just need to go to new. Make sure you're in metric. Okay, and then here under part, we're going to go to standard millimeter dot IPT and double click on that. All right, so we're ready to start. So let's go to start 2D sketch. Click on the XY plane. All right, let's go to rectangle. And we'll start right in the middle. See how it snaps on green? Click, come out here to your left. And we'll click again. All right, we're going to go to dimensions. Okay, click on the top line of your rectangle there. Click again. And let's change this one to 32.5. Enter. All right, see how that's gone out of my view now? If I just click on front, it pulls everything back in together. All right, now I can, I'm still in dimensions at the moment, so I can click on the left side of my uh, rectangle click and let's change this to 50 okay now let's go to circle and I want you to make a circle here on this line here so roughly about there and as I'm pulling this can you see how the dimensions there is changing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in 19 and then press enter on my keyboard okay and it'll automatically do the dimension for me I'm going to do another circle, so I'm going to click in the middle again, make another circle, and I'm going to make this one 30 millimeters, and click again. Okay, now, let's go to dimensions, so from the bottom of your rectangle to the middle of your circle, let's drag that out, and we need to change this to 19 millimeters. Oh, sorry, 29 millimeters. It's going to bring that down for us. All right, so this here is our canister hole for the back of our car, and you'll see that in a second once we start extruding everything. Now, we just need to go to rectangle again over here and start a rectangle back in the origin here. See how it snapped on green? Click again, and we'll drag it this way. Okay, now where it says 3.312. If I just click 3 on my keyboard, it's going to change that for me. And if I use my cursor now to come over here to 4.650, click on that. I'm going to change that to 6 millimeters and press enter. Okay, last thing that we need to do is go to trim over here. Click on this and this one. Okay, and now we're ready to go. So let's just go finish sketch. Okay, let's go to extrude now. And click on this part here. And we're going to make this, oh sorry, and we're going to click on this part here as well. Okay, so it should be the whole entire semicircle. Um, let's change this one to 56 millimeters and press OK. Alright, now, let's open up this extrusion. So click on that arrow here. I want you to right click on Sketch 1 and go to Share Sketch. Okay, now you can see that our sketch is, has stayed there. Alright, what we're going to do is go to the back here so we can see. I'm just using the Free Orbit tool here to move it around. We want to cut out that little semicircle in the middle there. Let's go to extrude. And I'm going to click on that semicircle. And I don't want it going through the whole way. I just want to make it go through by 50 millimeters. And can you see how that's already in cut? Okay, so it's going to cut that section out for us. So we'll just press OK. Okay, and I'm just going to drag it back around this way. Just use the free orbit tool for that. Okay, that's what your car should look like at the moment. So that's our canister hole. It's only half of it at the moment. Um, we're going to mirror everything later on. All right, so we need to start a new sketch. Now let's just go to start 2D sketch up here again. 
and we're going to go to our origin. Okay, and we need the work plane, that one there, X, Z plane. All right, the one that's going underneath our car because we want to start making the car body now. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to click on the arrow so it swings it around this way. Okay, what we need to do is just go to the rectangle tool. Click right in the corner here, that's the origin where we first started. And I want you to drag it out this way. And click. Alright, let's go to dimensions. The top line here I'm going to change to 210 millimeters. Press enter. Okay, and the side here I'm going to change that to 32.5. Okay, so let's go to the rectangle tool again. I'm going to make a small rectangle around here and a small rectangle out there as well. Okay, so at the moment we're just working out where we're going to have our little um, indents for our wheels. Okay, so at the moment we're looking at the top of our car. Alright, so let's go to dimensions. So from here, let's start with this one first. I'm going to click on that, drag it down, and let's make this one 35 millimeters. Okay, and this is a little hole for our, um, or a little gap for our wheel to sit in. The wheel is roughly about 32 millimeters, so if we give it 35, all right, we've got plenty of room for our wheel to be sitting in. Okay, then we're going to go and click on the side here. And let's make this one 15 millimeters. All right, so same for the front. We're going to go 35. But then for this one here, I'm going to make this 18 millimeters. All right, one last thing. I'm going to make another rectangle just behind this little wheel, wheel at the front. Okay, and the reason why is with the regulations for the F1 in schools, you need to have a 15 mil clearance behind the front wheel. All right, so we're just going to make sure that this here is 15 millimeters. Okay, so I'm just going to go right click, okay. Now I'm going to drag and highlight all of that. I'm going to go right click, construction. Okay, now these are all construction lines. Okay, they're not real lines that we're going to be using to extrude or anything like that. So let's just leave it how it is. I'm going to go to the line tool. We'll start from here. So go from that corner all the way to here. All right, I'm going to go. up to there come across to there all the way to there So now we've got a complete shape. All right, we can just go to finish sketch. And if I go to extrude and click on that shape that I've just made. Okay, it's coming up a little bit too high. We want this one to be 15 millimeters. And we'll just click okay. And if I swing this one around, as you can tell, all right, that's starting to look like half a car now. Okay, once we've finished off this side here, we can then extrude, uh, sorry, mirror that, and then we're going to have the other side of the car. Right, the last thing that we need to do is just to finish off 
that little slot that we made originally at the start. So I'm just going to go to the free orbit tool and just swing it around. Okay, you see that little box that we made at the start? I'm just going to go to extrude and click on that. Okay, and see how it's automatically cutting that? Alright, what we need to do is make it go all the way through to the front of the car. So you can change this. To, so let's do that again. To all. Okay, and now can you see how it's going all the way through to the other side? Okay, and just press OK. Now the reason why we've got that little slot at the bottom is when we're racing, we need to have a slot so we've got a little fishing line that goes all the way through your car just to make sure that the car stays on track. Okay, otherwise it could go flying anyway.